you know, you're changing your system, you're changing the way you're going from something certain to uncertain. H how does that look like? And, and what is the farmer thinking about in economics when he or she is changing from one system to another, or one approach, if you will, to another? You got to look at it a long t as a long-term investment, okay? You're going to start doing some no-till, and you're going to see some good things, and you're going to see some bad things. Okay? And the bad things are going to take care of themselves as you start doing this and learn more about it. But you need to look at the things that you don't like as well and say, okay, how do I change this and make this work? Now, no-till, switching to no-till for us up here where it's a little drier was, uh, was a way to alleviate financial risk because we went from the risk of a crop failure uh, to a risk, uh, uh, it became just a poor crop situation. Okay? Now, the other side of the coin, if you're in a, in a place where it's too wet, like the eastern part of the state? Yep. Once you've been in the no-till situation for a few years and you've got things rolling, you'll find that your water will actually soak in better than it does uh, before. Okay. And we've got people such as Al Mirren down right outside of Sioux Falls who's been successfully using no-till farming methods for 25 years. When it rains down there, the water soaks in the ground on his ground. And we've got people just across the fence who who don't and haven't, and they say it just won't work here. But it, it, it does work in a lot of these different areas. We need to challenge ourselves and quit saying it won't work here. And we need to start saying to ourselves, how do I make this work here? We can produce some great corn and soybean around here, but then you don't have the diversity in your crop rotation that I think uh, we're seeing the benefits of now. And so we've got some spring wheat, corn and bean rotation. Uh, we grow some oats and occasionally some barley. It's uh, another avenue to uh, add some diversity in our soil for our crops. <laughs> <laughs>